Chilbolton Observatory is on the site of one of Hampshire's finest abandoned airfields. A World War II fighter airfield, an assembly point for Operation Market Garden and a testing area for jet aircraft. A film set for an aviation classic, a centre for atmospheric research and the site of a notorious crop circle formation. My name is Ben Lovegrove and I make videos that promote aviation and any other type of business. Visit redspan.com to find out how I can create marketing videos for you. During World War II, Chilbolton was home to squadrons of Spitfires, Hurricanes, Mustangs, Typhoons and Vampires. The airfield was opened in 1940 as a satellite airfield for RAF Middle Wallop and it was used by the RAF and the US AAF. After the war it was used for flight tests before being closed in 1961. Today it is the site of the Chilbolton Observatory, a facility that carries out atmospheric and radio research. You can clearly see that the car park of today was once part of the main runway. The airfield was an operational base for a squadron of hurricanes during the Battle of Britain in the summer of 1940. In 1944, CG-4A gliders and C-47 transports gathered there in preparation for Operation Market Garden. Today, crop marks in the fields reveal the locations of two of its three runways, while in this image the runways, dispersal points, and perimeter track can clearly be seen. In 1941, with the Battle of Britain won the previous year, the airfield was designated a care and maintenance facility. 1944 saw the arrival of the USAAF in the form of Spitfires and Mustangs from the reconnaissance squadrons of the 67th Reconnaissance Wing. Between 1945 and 1946, it was back in the hands of the RAF. The airfield saw the arrival of several more squadrons of Hawker Tempests, a derivative of the Hawker Typhoon, Spitfires and Mustangs. For example, 247 squadrons Tempests F2 and Typhoon 1Bs arrived on the 20th of August 1945 and departed on the 7th of January 1946. A few months later, the squadron's first de Havilland Vampire Jets arrived. When the RAF vacated in 1946, it was taken over by the Vickers Supermarine Company, and it became the location for tests of their new aircraft, which included the Supermarine Attacker, Supermarine Swift, and Supermarine Scimitar. The Folland Aviation Company also used it as a test area for the Folland Nat and Folland Midge aircraft. The airfield was also used for location shots for the 1952 David Lean film The Sound Barrier. By 1961 all major flying operations had ceased and the site was transformed into a location for atmospheric and radio research. Civilian flying continues at the Chilbolton Flying Club, a grass strip nearby. The Chilbolton Observatory Radio Telescope is a prominent local landmark and it is still used as such by passing aircraft as it is on the edge of the Middle Wallop Mats military air traffic zone. But there is one other reason why this location is well known. In August 2001, two crop circle formations appeared in the fields close to the radio telescope. Unlike many other crop circles, before or since, these two seem to convey a message that was more easily deciphered. One formation was a clear depiction of a human face. A few days later, another formation appeared and this one resembled a strip of data. The second formation was of flattened and standing wheat, which created a graphic that was remarkably similar to the radio transmission that had been sent by the Arecibo Radio Telescope by the SETI project team, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, in 1974. 
However, the crop formation of the radio transmission had several significant differences. Crop circle researchers and others have speculated that this was a reply to the original transmission, with the alterations showing how things are similar but different on the receiver's world. The original SETI message was composed by the renowned physicist Carl Sagan. It contained fundamentals about our world's dominant chemical composition, carbon, our calculation system, human size and DNA, and the fact that we live on the third planet from our sun. It also depicted the Arecibo radio telescope in Puerto Rico. The crop formation depicted the same calculation, but it replaced carbon with silicon as the dominant element. It replaced the human figure with a smaller figure, about four feet tall, with a larger head. It showed the occupation of not one, but several planets in the solar system and an extra string in the DNA. Another difference was that the radio telescope seemed much more complex. A year before this formation, a crop circle had manifest in the same field and this one closely resembled the radio telescope graphic that appeared at the bottom of the 2001 formation. The following year, in 2002, a formation appeared in a field near Crab Wood on the outskirts of Winchester, which is about 5.6 miles from Chilbolton as the crow or the spaceship flies. Again, there was a face, but this time it had the appearance of what is commonly known as a grey alien. Next to the face was a circular pattern which was decoded by a local IT programmer who converted the dots and gaps into ASCII, a well-known computer language. It revealed this message. Beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. There is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing. Elaborate hoax or genuine alien contact. Years later, the debate still goes on. There is no doubt that many crop circles and formations have been created by mischievous humans. But like sightings of UFOs, there are many that defy rational explanation. This was a Redspan Solutions production. Head over to redspan.com to find out how I can make marketing videos for your aviation or any other type of business.